Hi, in this video I will show you how to create precise models in Plasticity. Plasticity is not a parametric system, meaning we do not work with features and parameters here. When creating 3D models, we create them directly in the workspace. We cannot assign parameters to the geometry here, but that doesn't mean we can't create precise 3D models. In this video, I will show you a simple way to approach this to create shapes with precise dimensions. I will start by creating a rectangle, and here I will choose to draw a rectangle from the center. To do this, I press the left mouse button here and hover over the center rectangle option. Now I place the center of the rectangle at the origin of the coordinate system, which means I click here with the left mouse button. As you can see, there are dimensions next to the sides of the rectangle indicating the length of this rectangle. In this case, we can use grid snapping, and in this way, we can determine fairly precise dimensions of this rectangle, but it will be even easier if we press the tab key, and now we can simply enter a specific length for the sides of the rectangle. For example, here I will enter 100 millimeters, here 80 millimeters, and I press Enter to confirm. In this way, we have created a rectangle with dimensions of 100 by 80 millimeters. If you want to change such a dimension, we can do that. Just select the geometry, and here I remind you that to select edges, we need to choose the edge selection mode. We can click here, or we can press the two key on the keyboard. This rectangle is selected, and now, to change the dimensions of this rectangle, press the equal sign on the keyboard. Now we can enter new dimensions for the rectangle. For example, here I will enter 70, and here 120 millimeters and the dimensions of the rectangle have been changed. Now I would like to create a circle whose center will lie on the x-axis and will be 40 millimeters away from the origin of the coordinate system. I can approach this in two ways. First, I will switch to the top view, and now I select the drawing of a circle. Note that I can easily place the circle on the x-axis. However, Placing this circle at an exact distance from the origin of the coordinate system right now is very difficult or even impossible. Here I have grid snapping enabled every 1 mm. I can change that to grid snapping every 10 mm. As for placing the center of the circle at a distance of 40 mm from the origin of the coordinate system, in this case, I could do that, but as you can see, it is quite time consuming and it's easy to make a mistake. Therefore, in this case, I will draw a circle at the origin of the coordinate system, specifying the diameter of the circle as 10 millimeters, which means I selected the point in the center of the circle. Then I pressed the tab key to specify the diameter of the circle and pressed enter to confirm. Now I have this circle at point X0, Y0. To place this circle 40 millimeters away from this point, I just need to use the move command. I select this command, and now, along the x-axis, I move it by 40 millimeters. To move it along the x-axis by 40 millimeters, we can do it very quickly. We just need to press X on the keyboard, then 40, hit enter, enter again, and we have created a circle at a distance of 40 millimeters from the origin of the coordinate system. And that was one way. The second way is that we can create a line of a specified length. Select to draw a line. I will start drawing the line at this point and drag this line in this direction. Here I press the tab key to specify the length of this line and I will type 40, hit enter. Now I can use the end point of this line to place the center of the circle at this point. I select the circle drawing tool and here the snap has been activated. I click here, press tab, type 10, hit enter, and in this way we have created a circle offset by 40 millimeters from the selected point. This line is not needed. I select this line, press delete, and in this way, we have created two circles. And that was a simple example in which I wanted to show you how to create shapes with precise dimensions and how to specify the distance of one geometry relative to another geometry. In this case, we specified the distance relative to the origin of the coordinate system, but we can easily specify the distance relative to a selected point of the rectangle. For example, I will create another circle in this corner of the rectangle. I press tab, enter a diameter of 10, and now I would like the center of this circle to be offset by 10 millimeters from the edge of the rectangle. To do this, I select the circle, select the move command, and here we specify the offset values along the x, y, and z axes. 
here along the x-axis I enter minus 10, along the y-axis also minus 10, and in this way we have precisely defined the distance of the center of this circle relative to the side of the rectangle. I click OK and we have something like this. We will finish this lesson here. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel.